farming is the science of planting and growing crops or vegetables on a land with planned and designed water supply system usually man-made to produce crops where there is virtually little or no precipitation and to protect the crops from bad effects of drought or no rainfall dry season farming extends from november to may However, low temperature during the early parts of the season, November to January, implies most tropical crops will not perform well during this period. However, temperatures start rising by the end of January, creating a window of opportunity from February to May. Although extreme daytime temperatures, frequently 40 degrees Celsius during April and May, mean only heat-tolerant crops or vegetables can be grown. Dry season farming, if well planned and implemented, would allow for all year round farming and is capable of solving the nation's poverty and food insufficiency. As the country's population continues to grow exponentially, it is important this increase in food demand is matched with adequate supply. Excess water supply is number one in dry season farming. Water in all its forms plays a vital role in the growth of plants and the production of all crops. It provides the medium by which chemicals and nutrients are carried through the plants and above all, the main constituents of the physiological plant tissue and reagent in photosynthesis. Since there is no rainfall during this season, Farmers are involved in two types of irrigation, which are the drip irrigation and rain gun system. The drip system, which is also known as trickled, is based on the application of water through point sources. It is good for tomatoes and vegetables, and fertilizers can also be applied through this method of irrigation. The rain gun system does not require labor and time. It saves water and it does not lead to water logging and salinization. This promotes germination of seeds and increased crop yield. Crops like rice and millet thrive well with this type of irrigation. Every farmer planting during dry season must go through some various stages for a successful planting and harvesting. Dry season farming has been used to cultivate crops and vegetables of different types. Loamy soil, which is the mixture of clay and sandy soil, is preferably the best soil to plant on during dry season farming. Farmers face a lot of challenges farming through the dry season. Aside the challenges farmers face during this season, dry season farming is of great advantage to the farmer and the nation at large. planting materials, fertilizer, label, and then storage facilities. That are the main thing. Yes. Okay, the first step. The first step, you have the availability of land okay. close to water body because you say it's a dry season panic. It's not a red okay. So it says it is a dry season, you have to get maybe closer to a river or where there is a 
enough water so that even if you are going to use bohol, so the water tank will so uh, high so that you can get enough water. Mm. And the second step? The second step is get infants, such as planting materials. Mm. If you are going to grow vegetables, when you look at where to get these materials, is it in form of seeds or disabilities? If it is the seeds, that means you have to make your uh, beds, prepare your beds, plant them, water them after some time, then you transport them depending on the variety or the, the crop. Then you transfer them from main plot to another plot that is transplanted. There are some that you can do direct seeding, you can just plant them directly, such as carrot, okra, and so on. Yes. So now that there is no frequent rainfall, mm -hmm. is it um, that you water them daily or...? Depending on the crop, at any stage, when you perhaps water them, not only daily, but even daily twice, morning, evening, morning, evening, for at least two weeks, for vegetables such as uh, tomato, onion, pepper, and so on. Okay. So you have to morning, evening, morning, evening, for up to two to three weeks. Then from there you can reduce reduce the water maybe to daily. After some time you can after reduce them after every three days, every three days. After transplanting. Okay, after transplanting. After transplanting. Yes. Morning, evening, morning, evening. Are there specific crops planted during the ICD? There are there are vegetables. When we say vegetables in this environment. We have onion, pepper, there are a lot of them. Tomato, lectus, cabbage, uh, even okra. The grey ground rice is a carrot. Then we have cereals again, apart from other vegetables, maize and wheat. Yeah, because we consume maize fresh, so it is vegetable. What are they telling this encounter during the There are many challenges: pests and diseases, market storage facility, access to fertilizer, especially in this environment because uh, of security reasons, then improve variety. That are major challenges. Sometimes, you know, these are perishable. You produce large quantity and there is no market because there are many inputs in the market. Okay. So, number two, the price again. There is the demand. If there is high demand, then uh, that means the market will be okay, but if there is low demands, that means some of them they will destroy it because they are perishable. Then there is uh, this storage facilities. If we can have a store whereby it can stay to prolong the life of this vegetable, such as tomato, but some of them after harvest three to four days, they will grow thin and then you have to destroy them. And that means it's you are at loss. What are the importance of self-employment? Importance of income to the farmer, self-employment, number one, self-employment. That is one of them. And then uh, it will grow, uh, increase the GDP, country G GDP to the nation. Across the much, uh, what do you call the GDP product, yes. Even this government is almost 60% depend on the, the GDP is almost 60% from agriculture. Okay. The economic and social benefits of rice farming to the nation. Yeah, that is a, uh, the growth of the GDP. That is the economic benefits. Okay. Uh, the employment, give employment to many youth. Is there a possibility for more harvest during the dry season? Yeah, it depends on the. Is there any? What is the question? Is there a possibility of more harvest during the dry season? It depends on the 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 availability of land and then the availability of water. If there is enough land, because now in this environment, the major crop challenges is insecurity. You cannot go far beyond two kilometers away from some uh, major towns. Otherwise, we have water body right from my degree up to the church. 
So some of them, they are just closer to the town because they cannot go far. So if, if not because of these security challenges, farmers almost go uh, throughout this dry season. They have this all over. They grow this crop twice, starting from October to December, December up to April before the rain. Are there any specific soil for rice? Yeah, it's loamy uh, soil. You know, these are vegetables. So they grow in the loamy soil, whereby loamy soil is a mixture of clay and the sandy soil. And most of the this crop, we call them, they are not uh, shallow rooted plants. That is, their root doesn't go down, deep down. So they absorb the nutrient from the surface. So they are doing better on this loamy soil. If it is in the clay soil, so clay soil when it's more compacted, it will not allow the roots to penetrate. And then if it is sandy soil again, is the, there is a problem because there is what we call leaching. All the nutrients applied, such as organic manure or synthetic fertilizer, it will easily wash away. It will go down beyond the reach of the crops. So, but for Sanji's uh, soil, it will retain the water, at the same time it will retain the, uh, the nutrient available for the crop to absorb. Thank you. The step involved in the dry season is farming that you, when you get the available land, you make the bed. When you make the bed, your seeds available is uh, with you. Then you start transplanting it. When you transplant it, you maintain it by giving some water, provide water and manure. Those are the steps you go on and continue maintaining it, watering, watering on and on, tiling and watering. So you'll be able to see the benefit of it. So how is the watering done? Is it morning, you that, evening? Or? You can give it any time, either in the morning or in the evening, all the same. But in the daytime, like it's during sun like this, it's not the right time. Okay, but so due to the shortage of water, you know, people like, as we, we like to come anytime and water the place, make sure that the plants has get something. The challenges is the shortage, the water, the water, the manure, and then the level. It depends on the, uh, the size you want to maintain. If you want the large size, you need, you need additional level. If you want the little one, maybe small size, you can be, you can sacrifice your scores. We want to uh, make sure that we have more of such available in the market or at home where we know that we cannot spend money on other things. But that season and it's welcome idea that I, it helps for us to, to, to survive. There is, you know that there is no rain in the coming season in this time now. We are making it like a palm. What we give one like today, the fifth now, this neighbor, it will reach three days before we give another water. Because not every day we water it.